Academic appeals for grades, dismissals, disputed absences, and university-level suspensions are covered in Student Rule 57. In this video, you'll learn the basic process for grade and absence appeals. This video does not cover appeals related to sexual harassment or discrimination against a protected class, including race, color, sex, gender identity, age, religion, disability, national origin, immigration status, citizenship status, sexual orientation, genetic information, or veteran status. To appeal, you have to show that the grade assigned or the excused absence denied was due to an arbitrary, capricious, or prejudiced decision by your instructor. You'll also have to gather information to support this claim. For details, listen to How to Support Your University Appeals, or ask the Ombuds for advice. Arbitrary is a decision made for no clear reason, for example, in contradiction to a policy on the syllabus. Capricious means the decision was made according to the instructor's whim, for example, if the instructor gives all blue-eyed students A's. Prejudice might be at play if you can show a decision was based on a stereotype that is not a protected class. For example, because you're a baseball player and the instructor has stated that athletes can't make A's. All appeals start with the instructor, then, if denied, to the department head where the course is taught, then if denied again, to the college or school where the course is taught. In some cases, they can also go to a university-level appeal. There are deadlines that affect when you can make an appeal. In the case of a grade appeal, you only have 10 business days after all grades are submitted to start the appeals process. For an absence, you need to ask your instructor immediately to reconsider denial of an excuse. If your instructor denies this appeal, you have three business days to take the appeal to the department head. And if the department head denies the appeal, you have 10 business days to contact the college or school. You must contact your instructor either in person, in Zoom, or by email. State that you want to make an appeal. Explain why you feel the decision to give you a particular grade or deny your excused absence was arbitrary, capricious, or prejudiced, and provide supporting documents. Do not get defensive or argue. Your goal is to simply present your case. If the instructor denies your appeal, the next step is to appeal to the head of the department that offers the course. If you don't know who this is, ask your instructor or check the department website. The department head will want the appeal in writing, so email works best for this. Again, state your case and attach the supporting information. The department head will contact your instructor to get both sides of the story. At the end of a reasonable amount of time, usually about two weeks, you should get a decision in writing. If you feel the department head's decision was inadequately explained or supported, the next step would be to take the decision to the college or school where the course is taught. You will be making your case by contacting a delegate appointed by the dean. Once again, send an email with supporting documents. The dean's delegate will check back with the department for their side of the story. Once they make a ruling, they should provide a written response that addresses your concerns. This should take about two to three weeks. If the appeal is denied, in some circumstances you may be able to appeal at the university level. You can't appeal just because you disagree with the college or school decision. You have to show there was an injustice or a flaw in the decision-making process, or that new evidence unavailable earlier should be considered. If you believe you are due a university-level appeal, fill in the academic appeals form found on us.tamu.edu under Students. The form requires you to explain the reason for your appeal and provide supporting information. You have 10 working days after you get the final decision from the college or school to act. Once the paperwork is done, the Ombuds will arrange for you to meet with the chair of the Undergraduate Academics Appeals Panel. The chair decides if the case can go forward. At the hearing, the panel chair, the panel consisting of two undergraduate students and three faculty, will be present. Also attending will be the dean's delegate, your instructor, and the department head who decided your previous case. Both sides will state their case. Then everyone present can ask questions. At the end of the hearing, the panel deliberates and announces a decision. This decision is final. For more details on this process, check Student Rule 57. And for more tips about undergraduate academics at Texas A&M, visit the Undergraduate Studies website at us.tambu.edu.